most beautiful place on earth, where everyone is welcome. Together, we can explore the wonder and beauty of Mexico. Experience true freedom. Just have to let go and enjoy the ride. Scratch! 
The jungle awaits! party people and we are just getting started please welcome our number one superstar to horizon mexico it is a real fiesta ball mis amigos got one of the best in the history of the festival you just uh just wait and see Superstars know how to uh, how to make an entrance. Am I right? Huh? Hello? Hello? This is the sound of my voice. Mic check. One, two, one, two. 
Is this thing on? Wait, it is on. Surely they know how my voice sounds now. I was doing all I could to not think about it. <laughs> Jamie told me to expect big things from you, but nothing so... so... Espectacular? Yes, Haley! I have so much to show you. Cerros, desiertos, la jungla, pirámides, la belleza de México. Your pronunciation was muy bien, by the way. Getting better. Listen, if you plan on stopping by the festival at any point, you'll need one of these. No promises, jefa. I believe this is yours. How was your flight? Not bad. Exit procedure was a bit rough. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Come on. Rami will handle expeditions. I will coordinate festival logistics, which just leaves... Primita! Ven! <laughs> what do you call Primita, Primito? I saw what you did in the UK. Vamos a hacer de banda. Alejandro, right? If the rumours about what you can do with an engine are true, I'm sure we will. Oh, speaking of, did we get that delivery? Arrived this morning. Yes. Mira, que chulada. This is quite a collection. You've got taste. I'll get them over to the garage. But which one are you taking out first? Can't go wrong with a Corvette. Gotta be the Corvette. Great. How about a personalized number plate? I'll get the rest of your cars to the garage. Gives me a little more time with them. Talk about making an entrance. I know you've just arrived, but our first showcase is ready to roll. We just need our superstar. Hope you're ready for this. Oh, I am ready. I'll be there soon. What is up, everybody? Scott Tyler here on the one and only Face Arena. The Horizon Festival has landed, and oh my, do we have big plans. But first, our superstar is here, and he is making his way to our brand new showcase event. Ready for on a wing and a prayer, amigo? <laughs> you bet. What? What's that? Yes! 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 Okay, uh, 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 arrive in big news. I gotta go, like, uh, uh, right now. <laughs> Arrive at your destination. what your next showcase opponent is planning. Said he had a few surprises in the hold of that cargo plane. It's 
to Scotty Tyler broadcasting to you live from a plane. This time we are throwing everything we have got at this superstar. Let's go. Uh, pilot, there's a temple on the runway. Temple on the runway! your skill point here to unlock perks. Every car has its own set, offering unique bonuses. Skill points can be spent on any car you own. Did 
To unlock this perk, you first need to have unlocked an adjacent perk. Caught inside of a cargo plane, right, Horizon? Just making sure I got it right for this text I'm sending to some friends back home. And send. Now, how about some Foo Fighters? driver. Care to take a look? My friend Carmen is looking to photograph some storms in the area, and she's asked for a driver with strong off-road skills. And Alejandra has requested a driver to help her search for a long-lost Vocho. With a bit of time before the next big event, who should we contact first? You sure we can make the schedule work? I can come back for the other one later. Yeah. I wouldn't be much good at my job otherwise, would I? I'll help Carmen. Roger that. I'll let Alejandra know you can help her later. Hey, amigo! Bailey says she found me a driver, one who's not afraid to dive right in. Have you ever chased after a Mexican dust storm before? No, but I get the feeling I'm about to. Oh, you're the driver everyone talks about. Haley's asked for pictures of all the cars at the festival. It's called Horizon Promo. And obviously, we want action shots, fast ones. I can do fast. Let's go. For Horizon Promo, you just need to take a picture of your car, but it'll look better with a little drama. Let's head into the storm and find the perfect location. Okay, there's the turn off. Some people believe mysterious things happen in storms like these. <laughs> there's even a story of an explorer who got lost in a storm and only found her way out when she found a huge statue near the coast. It's just a legend, of course, but want to see if we can find it? I'll take any excuse to drive this car through the heart of a storm. by the store. Yeah, that must be it. Okay, I'll get these photos to Haley. We should go treasure hunting again soon, eh? I'll call you.
We've kicked off a whole bunch of new events, so it's time for you to get out there and show us what a superstar can do. Everything you do earns you accolades. Think of them as mini challenges that cover races, stunts, exploration, everything. If you earn enough accolades, we'll be able to expand and kick off the next chapter of the Horizon Adventure. So, what do you want to do first? Here's where we track your accolades. Everything updates automatically based on what you've achieved here at Horizon Mexico. But right now, all you need to worry about is getting back out there and doing what you do best. We keep records of every mechanic who goes through the garage. So if you want to try someone else's engine tune, you can. Do you want to continue working or shall we get these installed? Hola, mi amigo. These are all the cars you've ever owned. There are some gaps in your collection though. You should do something about that. find all the latest Horizon events on your map. Go explore, have fun. You have arrived at your destination. arrived at your destination.
first adventure. Keep going. We're all cheering for you. <laughs> Thanks, Ailey. time.
work out there. We're just about ready for a Horizon adventure and we want you on the project. Speak soon. Gate to a trailblazer. Now all you have to do is hit the finish gate. Go, go, go! Trailblaze. What did you think? I love these events. I hardly have to do anything. Amigo! Haley called to say we're ready to expand. Meet me in Muleke. It's time for our first adventure, and another secret we've been working on. Can't wait. Be there soon, Remy. Hey, amigo! Discovering already, are you? That was an XP board. The Horizon team have hidden them all over Mexico. There's plenty more to be discovered if you're feeling adventurous. 400 meters. Turn left. Turn left. There's an expression in Espanol you may have heard. But this is more than just my house is your house, my friend. This is about home and family. Horizon and Mexico are family. Welcome to your new home. Take a second to look around. We'll leave as soon as you are ready. Check out your wardrobe. Pretty cool, no? You can keep your clothes in here and get changed whenever you're home. I hear you're the most stylish driver at the festival, eh? I'm telling you, racing is all about one thing. Dance moves. You learn them around the festival, and then you can teach them to me? Use your showboat emote before the race and the victory emote when you win. This is it. We're ready for the next stage of the Horizon adventure. Ramiro has marked out potential outposts to expand to and new event types to unlock. The choice is yours. Where shall we go first? Perfecto. You could lose yourself for years in the manga. That's why I have you, right? Be there soon. In 100 meters, seals turn right. a fast travel board. Smash them to get a discount on fast travel. Smash them all, and Horizon will cover all your expenses. Valley. In 400 meters, 
passengers, and you will arrive at your destination. You have arrived at your destination. my friend. Tell me, have you ever seen an active volcano up close? Meet me at the top of the mountain. You don't want to miss this. Whoa! What was that? That's nothing. Just a small tremor. Yaris 200 suspension can handle it, no problem. My friend, there is a lot of smoke coming out of this volcano. You might want to get up here pronto. Boss, got it. On my way. Hey, Ramiro, the festival operations team are tracking some activity around the volcano. That wouldn't happen to be exactly where you're taking my superstar driver, would it? Está bien, Haley. This is really only a small eruption. Nothing to worry about. Fine. Just remember we have an outpost to set up, yeah? Isn't this incredible? The volcano has never been like this before. But it's waking up for Horizon! Up, we should do our tests and then get out of here, my friend. The Baja is waiting, and I think the volcano is getting angrier. Angelica Garcia coming to you live from the Horizon Excess Chopper. That's right, we have a chopper. We're flying high over Mexico to see one superstar driver take on the fury of the Gran Caldera Volcano. Don't go anywhere. Looks like you're attracting the local news. You're on TV! It looks safe, but there's vapor everywhere! This expedition looks to be heading straight to the active crater of the volcano! This might be the most rock and roll thing ever! We'll be back soon! Remy! Did they say anything about steam vents? See! Believe it or not, they said opening them, say with a car, actually helps release the geothermal energy. Keep going, Superstar! Don't let the Gran Caldera defeat you! Horizon Excess is cheering you on! Coming up with the crater now, Rami! Copy that! Feel free to turn on the air conditioning. wants us to do up here. For science, you know? <laughs> For science! Solving.
See, Haley? We've placed the seismometer. You're getting the readings? Right in heat, Simo. We should be heading down soon. I'd show you an active volcano up close. Now, I think the show's over. <laughs> yep, that's enough playing with fire for one day. Oh, that was a big one. I think the volcano is telling us we've overstayed our welcome. <laughs> Agreed. Let's go. I'll see you at the port, Remy. Good thing I know the fastest way down. Don't look back! Try my best! my friend. Vamos! I know an Alpaha circuit that would be perfect. I didn't plan on not centering a race already, but here goes nothing. And we're into the final now. Oh, but what is this? Some new competitors come into the arena. Ah, this is awesome! <laughs> oh, we've never seen anything like this! And they go! 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 Across the finish line! Horizon Baja. Standing shoulder to shoulder with the Baja 500 and 1000. Legendary cross country racing. My friend, those run once a year. We get to do this every day. <laughs> you know how to make an entry. Welcome to Horizon Baja. Think of the place. This will be the destination for cross-country racing. You in? Here's a new cross-country event program to start. So I will see you out there. Champion. Hearing your name a lot lately. Whatever you've been doing, keep at it. We've got big plans ahead. Hey, Champion. That is a Horizon Mexico festival outpost. Shall we build some more? OK, 
Okay, champion. Setting your route to a new seasonal PR stunt. Horizon's official events don't satisfy you, then it's time to make your own. Introducing Event Lab.
champion. This is the Horizon Tour. It's the place to meet up with friends, sit back and, well, tour across Mexico. You should check it out when you have the time. You're making incredible progress and everything is reflected here. Why don't you have a look around and decide what you want to do next? If you want, you can pin any of these challenges to your dashboard to track your progress. Hey, champion. This is the festival playlist. It's a year-round guide to new events and exclusive rewards at Horizon Mexico, so make sure you check back each season to see what's on. Hey, champion. Thanks for turning out for the seasonals. I'll be sure to throw some extra challenges in there for you. Champion, I have disabled head to head for you. In 200 meters, turn right. Turn right.
amigo! The university is sending a technician to do some research at our festival outposts. And he needs a driver. Be nice to him. He's my baby cousin Juan. Hola. My name is Juan Maria Garcias. The university assigned me to conduct research at Horizon Outposts. And my cousins, Rami and Alec, said they could introduce me to a Horizon driver. Muy especial. And I guess that's you. Me? Hey, I'm just here to help. Thanks, Juan. Está bien. If we want to gather data from inside a sandstorm, first we have to find one. Let's tour the region. You want to drive, or should I? <laughs> You're the scientist. I'd better drive. Some desert landmarks will be helpful if we get hit with poor visibility. I can take survey data on the way. Welcome to Bahia de Plano. But sandstorms don't come from the ocean. Let's move on and step on it. <laughs> when you step on it, you step on it, my friend. Baja Circuit! Do you think the university needs geographical data on local racetracks? <laughs> Definitely! <laughs> Muy bueno! Now let's turn back for the coast and head south. Whew. They say sandstorms here can get muy malo. Dark skies, wind gusts up to 100 kilometers per hour. So, remind me why we want to drive into one. Uh, because it will be really, really cool. Also, for the science. Very, very important science. <laughs> right. Now I remember. If you get caught in a sandstorm, just head west until your feet are wet. <laughs> the Cabo San Lucas. It's a popular tourist destination. Maybe I'll come back during semester break. Time to head inland. The university asked me to check out some strange crop formations. enough for one day. Time to get the raw data back to the university. Muy bueno. Now you have your bearings for when we find that big sandstorm. I'll keep an eye on the forecasts and 
give you a call. Fingers crossed. Hey, mi amigo. Still working on this desert weather survey for the university. Can you beat me? Be right there. Hey, champion. That's it. It's time for an adventure. Here's the thing. It's not all about expansion. We also want to build our existing outposts with bigger race programs and more events. Expeditions into the unknown or new adventures in our own backyard. The canyon would be perfect for our PR stunt outpost. Horizon Rush. Sounds good, no? Finally, Jamin might leave me alone. Ramiro's in charge of the expedition, but he said something about stopping by a party. Amigo! It's interesting we're planning this expedition now. Do you know what else is coming up? Fiesta de la Luna, my friend. I have an idea. Meet me here. Just unlocked a permanent perk. This applies a permanent bonus to this car. You have just unlocked a temporary perk. These offer a limited number of uses to this car. arrived at your destination. So, I'm here. Where are you? Running late. Sorry. Things are a little wild with the Fiesta de la Luna coming up. Wait, wait. What's the Fiesta de la Luna? It's a full moon tonight, my friend. Horizon's throwing an all-night fiesta at the resort. I thought you and I could attend. Well, I do like a good party. <laughs> you and the rest of Mexico. Nos vemos pronto. Sorry I'm late. Quick your heart to catch. Wait, where is she? Just following the plane. I think I'm close. Good to see you, Jay! Now, on to Playa Azul! Vámonos! So what happens at a full moon party? People celebrate the glory of the moon, of course! There's fireworks and there's music and dancing until the sun comes up! Hola, chicos y chicas! The moon shows us her most beautiful face and Radio Eterna is flying into Playa Azul for the Fiesta de la Luna. Won't you join us? Tomorrow morning we head west to the canyons to find a stunt outpost. But tonight... <laughs> Fiesta de la Luna! Explore the party, my friend. Have fun! Half these people came for the fiesta, but the other half came just to see you. Hola, everyone! Bring the full moon, I'll bring the big star. I know 
you don't need help entertaining a crowd. But just in case, I rigged up some pyrotechnics for you. Boom! <laughs> oh, don't worry, they are also cheering for you! Oh man, I love parades! You're always kind of slow though, don't you think? Imagine if we had a few more horses under all those flowers. Limits. I've gone and set up some PR stunts. Let's see what this float can do. Head for the canyons. Our outpost awaits. Yes! Speed trap! This float can move! Radio Eterna, what a night. But for some, the party keeps on going. This Horizon Parade float is fast. Almost as fast as the handsome young man at the fiesta last night who said hola and then ran off. She remembers me! She remembers me! Did you hear that? Air crew standing by! Everything is ready for your canyon jump! Canyon jump? You can't drive something like this at Horizon and not test it out on a danger site. Let's do this! is to make this the place for PR stunts. So, I'll get to work on the PR, and you get stunting. I've already built a load more PR stunts. Which one do you want to try out first? Turn around when it is safe to do so. Welcome back, champion. safe landings, not the other way around.
Champion, this is the Eliminator, an epic event that puts you versus everyone to see who is crowned the winner. They're taking sign-ups if you're interested. Champion. I know you're busy, but I have um, festival facilities way over capacity. So if you wanted to push for that next big expansion, that would be very helpful. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Right. 
arrived at your destination. Hola. Now, Jamin has asked us to take telemetry on all these stunt drivers at Horizon Rush. And he says you're the best of them all. <laughs> he just says that for PR purposes. Then we'll use science to prove if you're just being modest, no? Take the Hoonigan Kossi. Let's start with a nice, relaxed tour of the region. I won't record telemetry yet. No need to rush. I thought this was Horizon Rush. Ah, you're right, my friend. No plan. Telemetry on and step on it. Let's get out of Los Jardines. Head north towards the canyon. We'll make this una aventura. 400 meters. Turn left. Turn left. And 200 meters. Turn right. Turn right. In 200 meters. Turn left. Turn left. In 200 meters. Turn right. Turn right. Welcome to Valle de las Ranas. The geology is fascinating. I bet you've never seen rocks like this before. Four hundred meters. Turn left. Turn left. Turn left. Turn left. Four hundred meters. Turn left. Next 
time we could take the cable car? There's more scenery, but less drift. with the tourists. And with Horizon Showcase drivers, I hear. That train is quicker than you think. In 400 meters, turn right. Turn right. In 100 meters, turn right. Hey, muy bien! Now you know the region. We can get much better telemetry. I'll call Jamin and the university and be in touch soon. next research assignment from the university and ojo superstar alex is busy but he told me to tell you there's a classic off-road vehicle in a barn not far from the festival jamin mostly jamin old Spanish mission style place. Like something out of an old western movie. Felicidades! A great purchase. Here's the keys. You can move in whenever you're ready. challenge for a nearby horizon story. In 400 meters, turn left.
have arrived at your destination. Country wins already. Crikey! Do you do this to all the race coordinators or just me? Horizon Super 7. 
complete seven challenge cars created by other Horizon drivers to earn big rewards. You ready? We have a new driver at the table. Let's turn a card. are a good way to send positive vibes around the festival. See a driver doing something you like? Kudos to them.
Okay, champion. Head to head enabled. Good luck. Okay, champion. I have disabled head to head for you. In 200 meters, turn right. Turn right. In 400 meters, turn left. Ready for a new adventure? Perfect timing. So, where shall we go? What shall we do? Horizon Apex will be the ultimate destination for road racing. Perfect. Alejandra runs the program. I'll call her now. As Ramiro keeps talking about the expedition, he said something about his pilot's license. Thousands of years. 
Just the place for that radio beacon. No? People would have come to the temple from miles around. Except they probably won't. <laughs> arches and over the top of the ruin. Look at these boards. It's like restoration work. Some people must have been here before us. without us. Let's get moving! Some of the roads might be blocked. I'll navigate. It looks like there's one way to the coast. Through the heart of the storm. 
You can handle this, my friend. I trust you. Do your worst. We are riders on the storm. Riders on the storm! We're nothing! Roadworks! You'll have to gut for the swamp. Take a right! I hope you like mud, my friend! Couldn't like it more. Let's do this. to the weather. <laughs> You're right. But these beaches look beautiful now. You made it! No thanks to Ramiro, no? Welcome to Horizon Apex. Ready for my road racing program? Here are the events I've set up so far. This is what I've been waiting for, my friend. Now I get to see what you can really do. Champion. Horizon Apex is our most advanced road race program ever, and it's right alongside the most beautiful beaches in the world. What fan is going to be able to resist that? Looking to upgrade your ride? You've come to the right place. Let me show you around. You can always give me your car. Set a performance target, I'll choose the parts and do all the work myself. Garantizado. Because you trust me, no? Parts for your engine, right here. Adjust your handling here. arrived at your destination.
amigo. I've got a call from my prima Ale at Horizon Apex. She wants to partner with the university research team. Cool. What does she want to study? What do you think, my friend? Absolute maximum speed. You'd better get down here. Arrived at your destination. Hola! I think I should show you around the East Coast region first. Alejandra says a real racer studies the track beforehand. Good advice. Besides, I talked to the university into letting us study the beautiful beaches and clear blue skies. These calls for power and style. The Ferrari Portofino will do nicely. Ruth is set, telemetry recording, and Alejandra is probably watching the video feed, so... She could have picked something nicer than a swamp. <laughs> Disculpame, my friend. I think you mean beautiful coastal wetland ecosystem. getting wet. Ale said she hit some bonus boards near here. You might want to check back later. Thanks for the tip. Ay, 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 ay. I wasn't supposed to tell you. Please, please, don't tell Ale. <laughs> she won't be happy. Welcome to Tulum! The archaeologists at the university will be glad we came to visit. <laughs> Sorry we couldn't stay longer. <sighs> wow! Fast roads and ocean views! The perfect location for Horizon Apex! <laughs> Either you're very bored with my tour, or very eager to prove your speed to Prima Ale, my friend. This is Playa Azul. It's a nature reserve. Try not to disturb too much sand. <sighs> Such beautiful weather. It just makes you want to sail away to the horizon and... and I mean... Fascinating climate data. <laughs> it's fine. I could get lost here too. Maybe some other time when Ali isn't checking our telemetry. Excelente. That's the East Coast. Very important if you want to compete at Horizon Apex. I have plenty of vehicle data for Ale, but there must be more to find in the region. I'll be in touch. Yeah, that was fun. See you soon. Hola, amigo. I've spoken with the Department of Ecology at the university. Come and meet me when you're ready. Ecology? <laughs> I'm on my way. Three big spins, three big prizes. This is a super wheel spin. Care to test it out?
Hey, champion. I have blueprints for a bunch of new adventures and you have decisions to make. Ah, Horizon Wilds. If you love dirt racing, this is perfect. Gotcha. I'll prep Ramiro for an expedition to the dirt racing outpost. Don't get lost in there. Hey, amigo. Ready to head into the jungle? We need to find a dirt outpost and a certain big cat I've been chasing. In 100 meters, turn right. You have arrived at your destination. Hola, my friend. Are you ready to get going? Sir Rami, you said something about a big cat. A long story. I tracked it all the way into the jungle, but lost my notes. Uh, why don't I explain it on the way? First, let's retrace my steps. We head south, across the highway, and over the hills. Vámonos! Hmm. I thought big cats would avoid major highways. <laughs> Not this one, my friend. Mira, next, I turned off-road and hit a danger sign on the way into Muleje. Welcome to Muleje! My aunt, Tia Rosa, runs a stall in the craft market. She was the one who first told me about the big cat. Now I have your help, I'm sure we'll find it. Next, I went across the bridge and into the jungle. We're getting close. Wait, hold up, Rami. You owe me a long story. Perdón, let me explain. I was given coordinates of where this big cat was last sighted. But the plane had mechanical problems on takeoff. I barely got it off the ground. So you dumped your cargo? Exacto! I lost everything and I never even saw the cat. But now you're here to help. And it's on the way. Por favor. This is the place! I left my car at the far end of the runway. All my stuff, including my notes, should be in the flight cases. You think you can find them too? Cat as a car, right? I'm guessing Jaguar? Obviously! <laughs> Sorry, did I not mention? <laughs> it's a barn find! Drop me off at my car once you've found it. Yes, my friend. I've been looking for this one. The flight recorder! It's designed to survive any crash. Uh, maybe not getting run over by a car, but... I don't see you getting out to grab it. Again! You found my notes! Tia Rosa said the Jaguar was abandoned by its owner 20 years ago. I've marked out the rough location on your map.
Shield! Dear Mitchell! Uh, what were you wearing to fly the plane? My spare flight suit. What did you think? You can keep it if you like. <laughs> Clear for takeoff! Now, the big cat was last sighted in a white barn with a brown door. Have a look around here. Some winnings I made on the street scene. I think we found it. Finally! It's the XJR-15! Rápido y raro. And a long way from its native habitat in the UK. I wonder how it got here. to leave. Alex wants the biggest dirt racing program Horizon has ever seen. And we are going to give it to him. around here when we were teenagers. <laughs> I always won. <laughs> I hope you've grown out of your rivalry. Rivalry? My friend, in Mexico we call that family. Oh, no. We stop. 
Chelsea back, my friend. Big dirt racing fans. Are those howler monkeys? We didn't have them back in the UK. Your jungles must be very boring. And here we are. The waterfall turned right around the corner. Cascadas de Agua Azul. What do you think? Is the Mexican jungle good enough for Alex and the best dirt racers in the world? <laughs> I'm starting to get the feeling that if I call you after every road race win, you will get tired of me very fast. It's perfect. I just hope the dirt racers are good enough for the Mexican jungle. I know what you were thinking all the way through that jungle. This place would be perfect for dirt racing. Funny! <laughs> I had the same thought. Check it out. Horizon Wilds. A little festival of my own where we celebrate all things dirt racing. Oh, this is going to be good. I've started you off simple with a few events, and the drivers and fans have challenges to match. So, off you go and get dirty! GMC Jimmy, muy bien. I mean, Theo Oscar said his was a Chevy Blazer, but that's only because he thought it sounded better. I'll call in some transport. I'll call you when it's done. Speak soon. I've just had an idea. You've got your own collection of rare cars, and we've got an empty barn here. What do you say we pay it forward? Right then, which will it be? Now it's a question of who you want to find this. You pick the sort of drivers you want, and I'll get to it. Want to leave a message? Might be nice. Nobody ever leaves us a note. Here's a tricky one. Do you want to put your name on this, or leave it anonymous? This is what someone will see when they find your gift. Happy with that? And off it goes. Trust me, a little help goes a long way around here. Thanks.
Allez. It's an F40. I can't believe it. Help me get it out of here. I'll call the paint shop, tell them to get out the Rosa Corsa. <laughs> See you soon. Hey, mi amigo. I've spoken with the Department of Ecology at the university. Come and meet me when you're ready. Ecology? <laughs> I'm on my way. In 200 meters, turn left. arrived at your destination. It's pequeño, but it's right in the heart of one of the most beautiful villages in Mexico. Right by the East Coast, too. You're gonna love it. Muy bien, que aproveche! You'll want to get a broom for all that sand. The research team saw what we did before. Good news! We have permission to conduct a special survey around Playa Azul. This M Sport Fiesta is our special survey vehicle. Very scientific, no? What do you need me to do? <laughs> Simple. Throw as much sand as you can, my friend. I'll record the data. And your skill chains. Ah, so long as it's for science. Down to the beach. I think you'll find plenty of sand there. And skills, of course. I think the university would like to know the effect of a speeding car on those beach loungers. This might look like random destruction, but we know very aerodynamic. Excitement increases as traction decreases, you see? You should study your driving more often.
I'll send the data over to the research team. It looks like we got everything we needed. Now that was style. Thanks to you, the university will be able to make Playa Azul fun for locos, racers, and turistas in the future. Ay, 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 my friend. Prima Ale called. I need you down here, quickly. Is everything okay? Yes. And no. Rápido, por favor. Hey, champion. Got a moment to look over some adventures? Hmm, thought you might. I'll tell her you're available. Honestly, she won't say it, but I know this is important to her. In 400 meters, turn sharp left. You have arrived at your destination. Ale, how can I help? Jump in the buggy. I'll tell you the story on the way. Ramiro was looking through old things at his father's home last week, and he found this photo. He gave it to me, said I might enjoy it, but I don't think he realized what he was. My friend, what would you say are the two most important things in Mexican culture? Uh, family and food? Family and art? Family of music? <laughs> Close. Familia and the Volkswagen Beetle. Bocho is the Mexican nickname. My bisabuelo Fernando was the first Torres to own one. And thanks to that photo, I think I know where it is. Seriously? Let's go find it. His abuelo means great-grandfather, but in the family, he's just Papa Fernando. We never met, but everyone says I'm exactly like him. <laughs> Loca por autos. You have to understand, in Mexico, a bocho is like the family member that lives in your garage. Papa Fernando loved that car to death. And I think Muerte finally came for it on a muddy road near here. He took one last photo and left it there. So, that's where we're going. If you can find it, I can get it running again. I really hope we can save it. Let's get up into the hills. Look for a turnoff. There should be a road or, or a track. <laughs> this is definitely the place. But, no sé, why would Papa Fernando bring the bocho up here? The storms can get tremendas. Let me just get the door. Is that key? <laughs> it's really here. <laughs> we found it for you, Papa Fernando. But look at it. I've never seen a beetle like that. Oh, the weather's closing in. I don't like the look of the roads around here. You drive the truck. Got it. I'll have to put in a new batteria, plenty of oil, llantas, or electrico. Oh, this is gonna be hard, even for me. <laughs> it's a beetle. Bet it starts first go. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be surprised. Look open just now. Maybe we'll be lucky. Ah, 
maybe not so lucky after all. Ah, looks like road works. Can you find a way past it? Hmm. I think I can manage that. <laughs> That's one way through. What are you gonna do with it? I have muchas ideas. That's the thing about a bocho. It's not just a car. It's a lifestyle. Park the truck here. I'll take care of the rest. What did I tell you? Finding lost cars isn't magic. It takes good luck, hard work, and sometimes a drone. <laughs> Ooh, my friend. The hard work is just getting started. Call you soon. I've been working on the bocho and learning more about Papa Fernando. Come meet me when you have time. I'll show you what I mean. Hola, mi amigo. Primo Ramiro says you could use some help exploring the Mexican jungle. I would like to offer the servicios. Very kind of you, Juan. Be right there. 200 meters. Turn left. arrived at your destination. Welcome to Horizon Wilds. Allow me to provide you with a little local knowledge. And of course, if I could have a Horizon driver to help me with the work for the university. Deal. When do we stop? Why not right now? We'll take the Land Rover Defender. I've programmed Anna, but don't worry. I know the jungle even better than Primo Rami. <sighs> Wait, is it that way? See, si. uh, ¿dónde está? It's this way. Vámonos! Approaching Ekbalam. Notice the architecture. Rami said it was quite the experience last time you visited, no? <laughs> well, we were fleeing a tropical storm at the time. Have you ever competed in this event? Rami calls it the Eliminator. <laughs> this is a good place to practice. Tight spaces, muchos árboles. You can practice here. Pretend the forest is the shrinking arena, no? Oh yeah, big time. Horizon drivers are good on dirt. Let's see how you handle La Selva Mexicana. In 
400 meters. Turn left. Turn left. In 400 meters, turn left. The Department of Archaeology at the University believes that Tula Giants were once columns supporting an enormous roof. Popular with the tourists, but first, we have to find it. Try not to wet the scientific equipment or the scientist. Gran Puente. In 200 meters, turn sharp left. Turn sharp left. Quick, right turn. Highest bridge in the Americas. Eh, más rápido, por favor. I don't like heights. That's the pyramid of Uxmal. Rami told me leyendas about it when we were kids. Oh. Is that the end of the tour? You're too fast, my friend. Data looks perfect. Great stuff. Thanks for the tour, Juan. Fue mi placer, my friend. Just do one thing for me. If Rami asks, tell him. I'm a much better guy than he is. Cusinale has finished work on the Jaguar. Hit me in the auto show when you're ready. Hola, amigo. Alex asked about the classic off-roader. You should come get the Jimmy before he does. Hola, mi amigo. Juan got a CS here. Primo Rami heard about our adventure in the jungle. He set up a sorpresa for you. What kind of surprise? <laughs> well, if I tell you, then it won't be a sorpresa. Just get down here. Carbon fiber, six liter V12, 450 horsepower. It should have been on the track at Le Mans, not in the middle of the Mexican jungle. I told Alex it was a Jimmy. He said, You mean a blazer? I think he might the Oscar would get along.
¿Qué onda, mi amigo? I've been working on the bocho and learning more about Papa Fernando. Come meet me when you have time. I'll show you what I mean. Hola. What do you think? Ah, very nice. Where's the vulture? Oh, I'm taking my time with it. Don't worry, superstar. Sometimes sock tampoco está tan mal. May the best mechanic go win. <laughs> ah, so that's how it is. Okay then. a shorter route. Go straight ahead. You are now following the shorter route. Anna, whose side are you on, Amiga? Incorrect. There is no fixed route for this encounter. I am providing navigational assistance. <laughs> oh, I'd high five you if I could, Anna. You have now returned to the main route. to the garage. Call me. Hey, mi amigo. Guess who has the watch running as well as it did in 1963? It would be really good for some rally driving. We could do that here. If you prefer rally cross and showing off some Gymkhana skills, we could do that here. You choose and meet me there. Hey, want to test out the Wocho on a rally course? Josie. Sí. You have arrived at your destination. Míralo. My abuelita Rosa told me about the first time Papa Fernando saw a Volkswagen Beetle, when they brought them to Mexico in 1954 to race the Carrera Panamericana. It looks great. Can I? You bet. I've marked up a nice rally route for you. I'll be your co-driver. Easy left and too easy left. Right, then easy left. Easy right, don't cut, then over a jump. Easy right, then over a jump. Easy right, then sharp left. Jump, 
then water into sharp right and surface change. Then surface change. Easy left, then easy right, don't cut. Surface change into easy left. Easy right, then water. into water, then very hard right. Whew, brilliant run. Well done. Can you imagine taking this 3,000 kilometers across Mexico back in the 50s? Papa Fernando said it was proof the Wacho could do anything. He sounds like a great guy. I wish I'd known him. Hola, amigo. Mi familia has been coming to visit the Wacho while I've been working on it in the shop. They've told me the most amazing stories you wouldn't believe. Tio Oscar says Papa Fernando actually drove for a rally team for a while. He competed in the Baja, maybe even Dakar. We could recreate one of his runs. Tia Sofia told me he once put his bocho through the roof of a building. We could recreate his jumps. Probably leave out the building, though. Your choice. I'll take care of the setup. Meet me at this danger sign. It's uh, away from any buildings. <laughs> On my way. Destination. Hey there, ready to do a jump? <laughs> Always. <laughs> Judging by the clawing I found on the under tray, it's not the first time this watcher has jumped off something. Can't wait. Got a route for me? It's late in. Go. <laughs> Fantastic! Wow! You okay? Yeah, actually. I kind of want to go again. Oh well, another time though. <laughs> Papa Fernando was a daredevil. De veras. He definitely got into some trouble in his day. And the watcher wasn't innocente either. He was just testing his capabilities, Ale. You can understand that. <laughs> you know, you're right. This is what good mechanicos do. I'm headed back to the garage. Speak soon. Hey, mi amigo. 
I found Papa Fernando in an old car magazine. It has mucha información on the work he did to the bocho. I can't wait to try some of this stuff out. For fast handling and corners, we could go here. Or for straight line speed, here. Champion, we're ready to expand. What are you thinking this time? Now we're talking. I'll start putting together ground crew, officials, and barriers. Lots and lots of barriers. for the Goliath? Genial! I hope you're ready, my friend. The way you drive, you might see all of Mexico in one afternoon. You have arrived at your destination. If you want this information right now, but the Mexico Goliath is officially the biggest race by distance in Horizon history. <laughs> uh, good luck.
could sit through that again. My heart wouldn't take it. German classic abandoned near the festival. What could that be? Go on, amigo. Nice collection. Some of the cars you don't have can be purchased from the auto show directly from here. Hola, mi amigo. Juan Garcia is here. Primo Rami heard about our adventure in the jungle. He set up a sorpresa for you. What kind of surprise? <laughs> well, if I tell you, then it won't be a sorpresa. Just get down here. Turn around when it is safe to do so. arrived at your destination. It's a trailblazer. The university wants topographical data. I think Primo Rami just likes to watch you drive. Oh, and I annoy Prima Alejandra until she loaned me the Maverick. Okay, Juan. Get in and hang on. Destination set. Telemetry is being recorded. Now, vamos! Vamos! Okay, I'm vamosing! Take any route you want, preferably without hitting a tree. Watch out! It looks like the weather is closing in. I'll tell Rami his trailblazer was very easy. Not even a challenge for you. We've got everything we need. I'll send the topographical data to Horizon Wilds. Happy to help, Juan. Hey, amigo. I've been talking to Primo Rami and the team at Horizon Wilds. I think the best way to settle this is with a race. Eh, not quite. <laughs> Come down and meet me. What? What are you up to? arrived at your destination. The trophy truck for you, and the 911 GT3 RS for me. We'll be racing each other. See, if I win, I can tell the whole familia that I beat a Horizon superstar. 
And if you win, well, we just won't tell anyone. I should mention, you'll need to follow the dirt road and ignore Anna for this one. The university wants telemetry from different road surfaces, so I'll take the asphalt. Ignore Anna, take the dirt road, got it. You took a shortcut? Why did I show you those? That was much closer than we thought it would be, no? Muchas gracias, my friend. I have the telemetry from both vehicles. I'll get it over to the university. Right after I compare my acceleration profile with Rami and Ale's last races. <laughs> I'll tell them they have competition. Champion, time for an adventure. Where should we head next? I know, right? There's Mexican car wrestling at Horizon, and I'm stuck up in the operation center. Adding it to your schedule. at your destination. Meet me over by the coast when you have a moment. I want to introduce you to someone. Tell me, are you a fanatico for Lucha Libre? I am, yes. I watched loads of El Santo movies a while back. What if I told you about Lucha Libre with cars? Ramiro, I think that is the best thing I've heard all day. <laughs> This is El Campeón, one of the greatest Lucha de Carreteras fighters in Mexico. Señor Campeón, may I present the driver I told you about? <laughs> Híjole, that went well. Wait, what? That means El Campeón will train you, but you must prove that you're worth his time. I've got a car ready. So, you need to really keep that speed up. Lucha de Carreteras is about agility, speed, and precision. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. Lucha Libre is Mexico's beloved world-famous wrestling, and Lucha de Carreteras is the latest evolution of Lucha and racing. So, it is necessary to have El Campeón's blessing for the festival. Libre Heroes. It's crucial to have El Campeón's blessing for the Lucha de Carreteras. So let's really keep that speed up.
definitely enough to impress el campeón. Well done. El campeón is prepared to take you on as a student. Felicidades. Oye, el campeón is waiting to take you through a training session. Meet us here. destination so there are three phases of training for you I'll explain the rules and how it works any questions um don't I need a mask yes you do but you have to earn it first pero antes you must demonstrate agility lucha de carreteras combines el espectáculo Mexican wrestling Con el poder de las carreras de autos. Hit the fences. Go through the fields. Don't worry. The farmers love lucha de carreteras. El campeón seems impressed, but next, you must demonstrate your courage. Lucha de carreteras often demands bravery as well as a skill. See if you can make it through this one, Valiente. I can do, Valiente. I am sure you can. Vámonos! I think it all started when a doble de riesgo jumped off his car into the ring. That sparked the idea for Lucha de carreteras. And the rest is history. Ramp ahead, keep that speed up. What a drift! Que valiente! Only the brave can score like that. the ramp. This is the final test. It's you against El Campeón in a test of speed. Vamos! It's just like Lucha Libre. First to the finish wins. Stay on the route only if you see flares. Ready? Another 
Airtight left! The Rudos route could really save us a few seconds. They always know the good shortcuts. Country. Don't miss the turn. Loco, I heard there's a shortcut behind some bushes around here. Pisale, punch it down the straight. I think there's no doubt you've proven yourself. El Campeón agrees and will sponsor you under the name of Toro Loco! Hey, champion. There's no stopping us now. I'm getting the next Horizon adventure prepped and ready for you. Eso, mi Toro Loco! Your first Dino is ready! Come meet me and let's get you set up. Shh! Secret identity is safe with me. You have arrived at your destination. This is important. Don't ever tell anyone your real name. When you wear the mask, you are Toro Loco. And don't speak either. The bouts are narrative, and everything is ready to go. Get in your car! El combate is about to begin! There is a challenger! This new blood is sponsored! Legacy, or will they tap out? This is a qualifier where you can show off your skills. Get some jumps, defy some death. You know, what you're best at. Sounds easy enough. Shh, no talking.
What a performance! So much more to come from Toro Loco! With this round complete, Toro Loco will move on to a qualifying round on the road to the stadium! I hear Toro Loco has another bout coming up against an Autodor this time. I... I mean, Toro Loco is definitely looking forward to it. You have arrived at your destination. What a brutal rudo that Toro Loco! Damas y caballeros, in the next bout, I present the worthy opponent for Toro Loco. The bell rings. The two autobores are in the ring. Technical strictly follow the rule. Rudos look for a faster way. These corners will either come the luchador alive. The field of combat is the Baja circuit. How will the professionals ride today? Oh, this bridge is no match for these campeones del ring! Sharp left. You have arrived at your destination. 
damas y caballeros, it's time for the battle of the century. El Forzudo versus Toro Loco. No cage can hold them. Fanáticos de lucha, the match begins. It's a no holds barred race. Finish. Entran los automores. Here they come. El Forzudo is a top rudo. Does the rudo challenger know this? What a massive battle! The lucha is on! Oh, the combatants are leaving the arena! El Forzudo and El Campeón first met in a hard-fought tag team race. They were allies and defeated in every challenger. In a final match, El Forzudo failed to tag El Campeón in time. And they lost the championship belt. El Campeón left the team. Luchador would attempt a shortcut here. Oh, ho oh, ho! Una gran victoria for Toro Loco! El Forzudo taking on Toro Loco is a bold move. A challenge to the master. What is happening? This match could not be more thrilling, but it is! Toro Loco must choose! Will it be El Forzudo or El Campeón? Ready for a new adventure? You and the whole of Horizon Mexico. In 400 meters, turn right. Let me talk to Alejandra. See if she can find enough drivers willing to race the Colossus against you. Come on, mi amigo. That's it. Horizon Apex is finished. Uh, the build, <laughs> I mean. Racing is never finished. Come on, mi amigo. Really called me. Ready for the Colossus? I can't wait to see you conquer this thing. In 400 meters, turn sharp left. Turn sharp left. You have arrived at your destination. Incredible! The world of Lucha is shocked! 
Toro Loco has turned rudo and is now an L for Sudo's side against El Campeón. I cannot believe my eyes. Begin! Smash the cage! Oh, who will seize the victory by finishing the round first? And the crowd cannot wait! Check the finish! Ha! El Forzudo refuses to acknowledge Toro Loco as his equal! Shocking development! And the audience demands a Rudo versus Rudo match! Cabataya and the Rudo must have some magnificent shortcuts!
The Alpha Lotus are three quarters of the way from the course. Almost hear the giant wheels of the monster ghost. The drivers are approaching the finish line. The betrayer El Forzudo has been defeated! Foro Loco is a real fighter! An equal among El Forzudo and El Campeón! at your destination. This is a Colossus, the biggest road race we've ever made. Are you ready?
Not bad, superstar. You can come and race with me anytime. Champion, I just got a notification. Ready to pick an adventure? Yes, Carmen is waiting. Tell us the shots of me are actually quite good. Hey, Champion, guess who's halfway towards securing funding for our next adventure? <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> oh, sorry. Everyone thinks your driving is very impressive, too. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Ay, 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 yeah, my friend. Prima Alec called. I need you down here, quickly. Is everything okay? Yes. And no. Rápido, por favor. In 200 meters, turn right. In 400 meters, turn left. Turn left. You have arrived at your destination. The university has asked for a complete survey of Mexico. East to west, coast to coast. And Ale wants complete telemetry for the racers at Horizon Apex. That's why she gave us the Yesco. We'll never be fast enough for her. She's the best racer in La Familia. Don't tell Rami I said that, but... Calm down, Juan. We can do this. Okay, we'll take the highway so you can really open it up. Here's the thing. We've also lost the traffic density telemetry. So, would you mind helping out? You get as close as you can, and I'll record the numbers. Got it. Let's go. Vamos. If any machine can do it, this one can. Lo siento, we're doing sights. Never mind, they're gone. Turn around when it is safe to do so. <sighs> this is fast! Very, very fast!
We did it! <laughs> now, disculpa me. After a drive like that, I need the baño. Forget the university. I have to put together a presentación for Ale. She wants her Horizon Apex racers to have the best. I just hope I have all the telemetry she needs. Relax, Juan. She'll love it. Your family. <sighs> you know what? You're right. Gracias, my friend. someone who found a classic car in a granero somewhere in this area. Would you be interested in restoring a pickup truck? Hey, mi amigo. We have our next research assignment from the university. And Jamin. Mostly Jamin. In 100 meters, you have arrived at your destination. You see, I have all this equipment to conduct geographical surveys, but we could just as easily use it to make stunt videos, no? Good advice. <laughs> Gracias, my friend. I am a scientist after all. Let's get going. I built a small route on the mountain with switchbacks and big air. Time to head down. Stick to the roads for drifting, or take a shortcut for some big air. I'll be taking survey data along the way. You just worry about getting Jamin his skill chains. <laughs> Tiempo para volar. See, research indicates Horizon fans do enjoy drifting. We're breaking things, but it's for science. Take it right here. Skill chain to the Departamento de Matemáticas. the telemetry, you really like smashing things, my friend. Okay, time to head back up. That should be enough for Horizon Rush. Even the university might get a kick out of it. Está bien. We have lots of raw data to upload to the university research server. What about Jamin? What format do you think he would prefer? Jay, just post a video and tag him. A 
Amigo! Como estas? For our final piece of stun research, we'll be hitting the biggest danger sign in the canyon. Nice! Jay's idea? <laughs> the university, actually. Departamento de Física. Though, Jay did supply the car. You'd better come down and see this. at your destination. One sec! Got an idea! What are you... Oh, see! Si. I like this theory! Mercedes AMG1. Over a thousand horsepower. What do you think? I think the university should be measuring my heart rate right now. <laughs> hey, mine too, my friend. Welcome to Horizon Rush. Are you ready? I have no idea what Jay said to Prima Ale to get this thing out of the auto show. He probably told her it was for science, no? For science! Now head to the danger sign! That was incredible. So chido. Um, I, I mean, the experiment is now complete. Guess science is good for PR. Mexico can't get enough of you. You're one of the biggest superstars we've ever had. So what if we put you in the Hall of Fame? You're on your way there anyway. Let's just take it one adventure at a time. Finally, the fans have been wanting this for ages. Adding it to your schedule. Turn around.
entered your destination. destination. Champion, got some adventure plans for you when you have time. <laughs> I've been sitting on this one for a while. It's the showcase I've always wanted to do. See you there. <laughs> Take a look at this. I like it. I don't understand it, but I like it. Get in and I'll explain. Whoa! This thing can really move. Right? I've got a route leading for you. Go for it. You can stop now. <laughs> I fixed the brakes. That was fantastic. This thing is fast. It's really special, right? Just wait till you see what Papa Fernando did with it next.
It's me again. You think you can get a bocho sideways? I've been playing around with the wheel angle. Meet me here if you want to get your drift on. I've also got an idea for an assault course. Let's meet here if you want to try that. Look at that! Looks like an old Baja truck. Oh, this thing's won more off-road races than you or I have had hot dinners. Needs new tires, probably new suspension. I'll, I'll call you when it's ready. Destination. Okay, you versus some monster-sized trucks. This is gonna be good.
sure she did it. Now, how about a victory lap in that thing? Champion, caught an editorial today. Horizon Hall of Fame shoe-in. I suspect Jamin rates it, but he makes some good arguments. How would the shoe-in feel about another Horizon adventure? <laughs> Thanks for the subtle hint, Haley. You're gonna like this assault course finish setting it up. You turn around when it is safe to do so. You have arrived at your destination. Time to sidestep the verse, which is in the mix and flick. 
Yeah, just in time. We're ready for you. Yeah? I really wanted to see what this car can do, agility-wise. So, I built you a challenge course. Want to give it a shot? Definitely. <laughs> I thought so. Get in. I'll get you up to speed. We set up a bunch of ramps and obstacles all around here. Follow your route and get through it as fast as you can. That was quite the show. I'm gonna to need to feel a couple of dents, but that's the good thing with the watcho. You just get your hammer and some hot water. <laughs> this is a great car. Your great granddad would have loved to have seen it, I'm sure. <laughs> Definitely. A pity we can't show him. Never mind, get out of here. I'll call you soon. Go on, amigo. One more thing I want from the watcho. A photograph, so the memories last even longer than a Volkswagen Beetle. I can think of a couple of places. The place where Papa Fernando left it for us to find, or the Baja where he did all his off-road racing. What do you think? Hmm, that's where this all started. Come and meet me. around when it is safe to do so. In 100 meters, turn right. Recalculating route. In 400 meters, turn right. In 400 meters, turn right. Turn right. Original condition, just like when it rolled out of La Fabrica in the 60s. You like it? That's a classic look. What about the upgrades, though? <laughs> Don't worry, all the upgrades are safe. We can put them back on anytime. I wanted to take a nice picture of the car. Ah, yes. Natural habitat of the vulture. Beetle in my family, but it wasn't the last. I owned one, Ramiro owned one. Maybe, <laughs> this sounds stupid, but maybe we carry the spirit of our Papa Fernando with us, you know? Or maybe it's just a Mexican thing. That's really nice, Alejandro. Probably a Mexican thing too, though. <laughs> Definitely a Mexican thing. Come on, come on, get the photo already.
size perfect. I was thinking the same thing. If it was in black and white, it could be Papa Fernando on race day. Me encanta. I want to say muchísimas gracias for everything. We always put Papa Fernando's picture on the ofrenda for Dia de los Muertos. This year, I'll have a lot to say to him. Tell him the bocho is in safe hands. It will be. Papa Fernando says the bocho belongs to me now. I can do whatever I want with it. So, I'm giving it to you. What? Ale, no. <laughs> Just promise you'll always bring it back to my garage. Now get out of here. Papa Fernando and I have some ideas to work on. I'll call you. These adventures look amazing. Glad I don't have to pick one. <clears throat> Great! They're filming for the new Vanguard Force movie and the star Frankie Raymond was asking around for you. I still don't think the two of you look anything alike, but Frankie really seems to need your help. <laughs> People usually say they want a cabana by the ocean. You're the only one who wants a cabana by the Baja. What's not to love? Listen to this. My great aunt used to work for the government, and she says there was a classic car built right here in Mexico. So many of them, it should be easy to find one. Wow. It's like looking in a mirror, right? I mean, the perfect stunt double is an identical twin. You said you wanted some driving lessons. Get in! Let's go! So, there's a new movie. Vanguard Force 10. <laughs> yeah, I've seen the teasers. And I had fun driving stunts in the last one. Right. The director is insisting we do our own stunts this time round. So I need to get decent after the standard you set on the last one. <laughs> Have to do your own stunts. Oof. Well, let's see what we can do. That's uh, the Stockholm slide. <laughs>
We've already started filming. It's hopeless. I'll never impress Victor Garcia Hernandez as a driver or legitimate dramatic actor. Actually, I have an idea. Since, you know, there's a bit of resemblance here. What if we don't tell anyone and... And... Hang on. You do the driving and I do the acting. I think we could pull that off. Got a stunt coming up. Get the costume on and pretend to be me. Turn around when it is safe to do so. It's a Renault Cottrell. That makes sense. In the 60s, there was a ban on imports, so the government allowed them to be built here. Gracias for finding it. I'll get it running. Shouldn't take long. These things are indestructible. Don't sweat the dialogue, mate. We'll get that later. You just focus on your driving. Okay, Mike. Will do. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> mm. Mate, come see me after we cut. I'll get you some lozenges or something. Scene 15. Downhill escape stunt sequence. Action! <clears throat> right, old Victor. And this is the very first shot of the movie, yeah? No intro, just straight in with the car chases. Well, you're the genius. <laughs> very good, Mike. I'm in the helicopter. I look forward to seeing what our driver can do. <laughs> that was Mike Steele. He does the stunt direction, while Victor is the overall director. Seems like he bought it. Obstacles ahead. You haven't done this before. Just keep your foot down and take the hit, okay? <laughs> <coughs> Not the first time. Now, keep a tight line through here. I don't know about Victor, but that looks mint to me. to have a god's eye view. Hang on, we'll put him on. We are the stuff that dreams are made of, my friends. Mexico is our canvas, the car our paintbrush, and Vanguard Force 10 would be our masterpiece. Andalo, let's go!
meters. Turn left. Turn left. Buy it. He did. We can make this work. Mike and his crew are ready for the next stunt. I snuck away to my trailer to call you. Victor thinks I'm <laughs> preparing. 200 meters, turn right. You have arrived at your destination. Right, keep it in the river along here, and upright if you can, Frankie. Alex's last chance. Without this vehicle, we will not be able to trigger the Dimension Portal. There will be explosions and many digital things. But the truth is in the vehicle, in the way you drive. Make me believe. <laughs> Surface is rough through here, but push through it. Give it some. <laughs> kind of driving for years. Yes! And now through the resistance camp. Let nothing stand in your way. Wonderful, Frankie! That's amazing! You truly grasp the essence of the character. Victor's notoriously difficult to please, but he loves your driving, Frankie. Ready for the next setup? C25! One flew over Cobalt's nest! Action! <laughs> now the supplies are delivered. Alex Cobalt must escape, not from aliens, but from a phantasmagoria of fears and doubts tracing all the way back through everything you have experienced. I don't know what a phantasmagoria is, but I've whacked a Rally V8 in that thing, so give it the guts! <laughs> Barricades and ramps ahead! Keep your speed up! Hard turn onto some winding roads up ahead!
else did you learn to drive like that, Frankie? So, I have some ideas for some improvisation. We could do a scene along the beach, or around the airplane graveyard. I'm not sure which, so you choose. Along the beach? Yeah, I can think of some stunts. Turn left. Victor has handed this one off to me. He's working on something new for the ending, and that has me worried. Anyways, go for it, Frankie, and let's get this one! Improv scene! Beach rush! Action! We've got debris along the beach. Dodge that, and keep away from the houses. Otherwise, there's people who have to edit it all out digitally, frame by frame. I mean, Frankie, sorry, don't know why I said kid there. is on to us. What? No way, my saw third story is flawless. Take this footage to Victor. Wait till he sees what his superstar, sorry, movie star can do. Right, we've got another stunt. Drop by when you have a look. Hey, champion. Sorry to bother a future Hall of Famer, but can I have your input on this next adventure? Thought you'd never ask. Alex has been talking gauntlet ideas for weeks. I'll call him. Hola, amigo. Have you heard of the Carrera Panamericana? I've just been told about another barn find nearby. Shall we go find it? I can't believe I'm saying this, but... 
That's about all I can think of for Horizon Wilds. You did it! Hola, hola! Remember the old book I told you about? I went and dug it out of a box at my padre's place. I want to try and find something. And you need a driver. And I need a driver. Yeah, bien. Head for Las Barrancas. I'll explain on the way. Yeah! So, what are we looking for? My favorite book is called El Camino de Sidney Wolverstone, about an explorer who traveled Mexico 200 years ago. In her book, she describes these Atlantis she found, giant statues. But there aren't supposed to be any of those near here. Giant statues? From an old book? <laughs> that aren't supposed to exist, yes! I've been piecing together clues from the book. Do you think you can get this car right into the river at the bottom of the Copper Canyon? <laughs> you really don't know me very well. That is incredible. How has no one ever found this before? Hola, amigo. According to the book, there is a statue at El Arco de Cabo San Lucas. Wolverstone said she found it at sunset, but I thought we could try an experiment. I've worked out where the book says the statue should be. We can set out and reach the area around mid-morning and see what we can find. Or the other option is we get to El Arco just as the sun sets. If you believe the story, that's when we'll find the statue. Right. We've got another stunt. Drop by when you have a moment. In 400 meters, turn left. Turn left. Ah, 
see BMW. Too old to be made in Mexico, though. We should take it to the taller so I can get a better look. Call you soon. All right, BMW. Let's see what we've got here. In 400 meters, turn right. You have arrived at your destination. Well, well, if it isn't the two masterminds caught in the act. Can't believe I didn't recognize your driving sooner, kid. Uh, uh, Mike, glad you're here. How do you like this, uh, this dummy the art department made? It's, um, it's very realistic. Save it, Frankie. This is a brilliant idea. But if you're gonna keep Victor in the dark, you'll need my help. It's nice to be working with you again, Mike. You can talk. I never expected that. Uh, look, get in the car. We've got a big jump to do. Scene 43. Time travel volcano jump. Action! Uh, Mike? Did you just say volcano jump? Come on now, kid. I saw the opening ceremony. Hammer it up the hill, kid. That stunt vehicle is a Mike Steel Special, custom engine and suspension. Why? It's nice to have a real driver at the wheel. I heard that. Frankie? Brilliant! Well done! But we keep this between us, yeah? No need for Victor to know. Hey, Superstar! Quit showing off and come collect this Renault before I take it for a spin. Hey there, kid! We've got a new stunt set up. Drop by when you can. Turn right. Hey there, Frankie. No, no, don't talk. We have to protect that nice, bankable accent of yours. Get in the car. I'll explain the stunt as we go. Scene 68. Dr. Strangeguard. Action! Careful up ahead. Watch the turn. Hang on there, I'm in here too.
Victor's on the phone. Keep it tight, kid. Victor! Senor Steele, Frankie's driving is exceptional as always. But, uh, why did I just catch a glimpse of another Frankie relaxing in his trailer with a mug of lemon tea? No, uh, that was a dummy. It's a stunt dummy. Gotta go, Victor. Bye! Hey! I always have a role in the movies I make. I was Pursuit Beast number two in the one we made in the UK. <laughs> the one that ran into the wall. I love that bit. Very funny, Captain Silent Protagonist. Now drive. Nicely done. It's good to be working with you again, Frankie. Oh, too close by half. Let's get this done. Kid, we have a small problem on Vanguard. Meet me and Frankie when you can. Turn right. Turn right. You have arrived at your destination. The director was asking why I'm not doing my lines in the stunt sequences. Don't worry about it, Frankie. I'll cover for you. Hey, kid! You ready for the next set? Sure. What's the stunt? Scene 95! Highway escape! Action! Talk me through this. What's my motivation? So, it's a race, basically. Gotta outrun the pursuit car. <laughs> I can explain, Mike, and that is an excellent accent, Frankie. Uh, you have hidden depths. This is an escape, of course. The self-replicating control system is intent on stopping you. It has commandeered a pursuit vehicle. You must escape it. If it helps, imagine the pursuit vehicle has a number of hilarious lines of dialogue, perhaps even emerging as the true star of this movie. <laughs> you voice a little bit. gonna look great. And there we go. That's done. Only one more stunt to do. I'll call you when we're set up. Hey, kid. Next scene set up. Meet me with the stunt unit. It's time to expand. What are we doing next? Couldn't 
couldn't agree more. I'll tell Alex the Titan is a go. You have arrived at your destination. Right, this is the last shot we need to get. Should be easy. What could go wrong? Scene 107. Data offload stunt sequence. Action! Right, we've got other stunt drivers in traffic vehicles. Dodge and weave, and get to the destination as quick as you can. Together, past, present, future, messages and themes come across the franchise coming together, not resolved, never resolved. <laughs> Don't worry about all that past, present, theme stuff. Let's just get this done before he rumbles us. <laughs> 100 meters, turn sharp left. 100 meters, turn right. In 100 meters, turn right. Destination now. Just get there. There we go. Cut and print it there. Stunt units are wrapped on Vanguard Force 10. It's up to Victor in the editing booth now. He's not the type of director to change his mind or ask for reshoots or anything like that. Right? Mike's going off the deep end. Something about product placement. Can you drop by? Easy, Frankie. I'm on my way. There's a new scene. Apparently, we need to take advantage of the presence of a major cultural event to root the story in the zeitgeist. Uh, zeit what now? Get in the car, kid. I'll explain. Scene 103. 
Uh, something at the festival. Glory, kid! Straight through the festival! Hit the jumps! Apparently the scene's got to go right through the middle of a race or something. Tell Scott Tyler not to flop his lines this time. Wait, wait. We're putting the festival in the movie. And Scott Tyler's got lines? That's right, kid. Up through here. Head for the ramp. Cue the drivers. Cue Scott. No. No, no, no. There are cars on the track. Pause. Going the wrong way. This is dramatic and unexpected. Scott Tyler, by the way, I'm here. We, uh, let him write his own lines. Here we go. This car's coming the other way, so watch it. That was close. What now? This is very improvised. to be enough for him, right? Right, kid. We're back in it. Get here when you can. Another stuff. <laughs> I'll be right there. Hey there. So, I just got off the phone with the director, and he wants one more stunt. And not just any stunt. He wants me to jump across the bay, being chased by a cargo plane. And there's dialogue all over it, so no driver swapping. I think it's time we fessed up to Victor. Hang on. If we can't swap drivers, why don't we swap cars? With one waiting in the motorway tunnel. Right. I need props and another hero car. Do we even have another hero car? Yes, we do! The one that was too fast for anyone to drive! I'll get it ready over at the bridge. Scene 117. One take! Action! I'll do the first section and you take over at the tunnel. We can do this, Frankie. Just drive casual. Now, Frankie, it is time! We must close the loop, combine the dimensions, and transform this conflict into art. <laughs> Got a bad feeling about this. See, see, you are being torn apart from the inside. It's almost as if there is another Alex Cobalt straining, fighting to take control. Understand? Uh, and... Fine! <laughs> Go, go, quick. I can't act and drive at the same time. The plane's spinning up. Get to the airfield. Go, go, go! The car's a bit of a handful. 
This is the high power one Victor asked for, but we never used, so, uh, enjoy! Whoa! This thing can move! Uh, we need a line here, I think. Uh, Frankie, would you provide something for me, please? Uh, I have to return to the future! See, muy bien. You capture the conflict perfectly. Now, right turn before the plane over the jump. Don't try to learn to talk, Frankie. You're out of a job. Not bad. I mean, I have a few minutes. What Frankie said. Just hit that jump, but not the plane. <laughs> I love my life. from watching the feeds. Amazing work. Great driving. And, I mean, reasonable acting, too. That BMW? It's a 2002 Turbo. Very rare. Get down here. No storms in the horizon just yet. Lo siento. While we're waiting, how would you like to throw a desert flyer around some sand dunes? <laughs> Might as well. Now, let's demonstrate some physics, no? I should say, I've also set up some important scientific equipment for you. <laughs> Great. More things for me to smash. Well, if you must, I'm sure we could use the data. Perfecto! The loss of traction can cause the phenomenon you call oversteer. <laughs> See, sí, muy bueno. An effective demonstration of Newton's third law. This is excellent practice for driving in poor visibility. You mean, if there's a sandstorm? When there is a sandstorm, my friend. I have seen the satellite pictures. <laughs> Trust me, clearly, this is a lesson on the shape of a parabola. Gigantius, commonly known as the kangaroo's kill. Ah, the numbers are looking good. Show me more. Andale! Excelente. I'll get the numbers to the university and the video to my friends at Horizon. Bien hecho! 
Be ready for the call. According to the weather service, it's going to be a big one. Uh, count me in. Oh, I will. Call you soon. <gasps> Dry conditions in the Baja region. Wind increasing. This is it, my friend. This is it. Get down here! I'm coming, I'm coming! Turn left. You have arrived at your destination. Juan? I got here as fast as I could. Oh, not fast enough! They get in! Vámonos! Vámonos! This storm is forming over there. Winds up to 110 kilometers per hour. Can't you go any faster? Sure. What do we do when we get there? You know. Science! Let's just get there. There it is! The sandstorm! Full speed ahead! Straight into the middle! Okay! Are you sure? See, si, see! Si. The university equipped us with sensors. We'll be gathering data the whole way! Are you lost? Or are you smashing things on purpose? Going this fast when we can't see? Making superstars proud! Okay, if our data is correct, we'll have to take it off-road! can't get much closer to a sandstorm than we just got, my friend. Bien hecho. With our data, the university will be able to track weather patterns much more accurately, so drivers can avoid sandstorms in the future. <laughs> Why would you avoid them? They're awesome. Okay, we'll check out El Arco de Cabo San Lucas and see if it matches the book. Let's get there fast. <laughs> You've read my mind. Hmm. 
I don't see it. Huh. Well, let's get some lunch and try back later in the day. Oh, I told you that was the best place to eat around here. Was I wrong? Aye. <laughs> okay, we need to get going. Can you get us to the beach before the sun sets? You mean outrun the sun? Yep, I think I can do that. Even with the extra helping of Tres Leches. That is freaking me out. It's right there. How did we miss it? The shadows were really deep just here earlier. Maybe we just didn't see it? But now I really want to see if we can find any more of these mysterious statues. It's hard to find the evidence. Hey, champion. Sorry to interrupt your Hall of Fame chase, but we need to pick an adventure. You wait till you see this showcase. I have the train and conductor on standby. All I need now is a driver. Okay, mira, escucha. Listen to this. El pueblo de Muleje, un oasis tranquilo. If she made it to Muleje, the expedition must have traveled upriver. I still can't believe this. I used to take the book to mi escuela, and my teachers told me Lady Wolverstone's adventures were as fictional as Pedro Paramo or Sherlock Holmes. So she never got any credit? Never asked for any. She said she was writing stories for her grandchildren. But if they're true, her story deserves to be told. And you and I can prove it. Vamos, to Muleje. Let's go. We can start in the center of town and move outwards.
Lady Sydney writes that a local bruja, a wise woman, said the statues were only visible on certain days in the rain because they are statues of Tlaloc. I still think it's the trees hiding it. But call me when you work out the next location, OK? Hey, amigo. Haley called to ask about the promo shots, but when I told her about the diary, she said they could wait. Come pick me up. We need to go to Aguazul. I'll be right over. 400 meters. We might get a little wet. I'll keep the windows closed. Okay, okay, a ver. Okay, uh, let me translate this part. Cool waters of Agua Azul quenched our thirst and inspired our hearts. In the heart of the blue water is where we found them. Set. Are we looking for more than one statue, me? And in the heart of the blue water? What does that mean, Alma? Well, so, so the question is, why was the diary of Lady Sydney Wolverston published as fiction? She was really here. She, she really had aventuras all over Mexico. Maybe she didn't want to be famous. Or maybe she didn't think anybody would believe her. Muy bien. Keep heading west. Muy bien. Ahí estás. Eh, we'll turn off the road near the waterfalls. Pictures are good. And you know, having pictures means no one can doubt us if we can find the statues again. Hey, champion. Festival setup is looking pretty good, right? I don't know, I think we have a few more adventures in us. And you want to put a bow on your Hall of Fame run, right? Oh, yo, yo, this is big. I have our next lead. Meet me as soon as you can. You have arrived at your destination. I found more of Lady Sydney's papers, original drafts of El Camino. She made pencil sketches of formations that I recognize in the Valle de las Ranas, and she sketched one of the statues. Lead the way. Okay, okay, so, uh, I have a fantastic creatures carved in rock. 
Uh -huh. And she found the statue early one morning. And <laughs> get this. It was after a rainstorm. And this is another statue of Tlaloc. That is interesting. Let's see if we can find it. El Valle is east of Guanajuato. Mira, let's go. Valle de las Ranas means Valley of the Frogs, though I always thought the stones looked more like fantastical creatures. And Lady Sydney did too. She got sketches in her book. Imagínate lo imagine it. Explorers like Lady Sydney came all this way with nothing but ganas y un gran amor for the wilds of Mexico. She sounds like someone I know. <laughs> yes, yo? I shoot cars for the festival. You do all the work. And my ride is a lot faster than her wagons, no? We have slightly more than one horsepower. Bueno, I suppose reading El Diario is one of the reasons I became una fotógrafa. I wanted to capture the same belleza she did. Today, the Valle de las Ranas is one of the most visited natural wonders in Mexico. Lady Sydney definitely knew a marvel when she saw one. But the guidebooks don't say anything about a Tlaloc statue here. Mira, mira, I cross-referenced the final pages of the book with all the other papers I could find, and it's Egg Balam. It has to be. Lady Sydney Wolverstone's expedition headed south to Egg Balam. I've been to Egg Balam. I know the way. Egg Balam was only properly studied in the 90s, but we know very little about it, actually. In fact, Researchers are divided on exactly how much of what we know about the Toltecs is historical and how much is Aztec legend. So why are we going to Ekbala and not Tula? Wolverstone's book doesn't call it Ekbala, of course, but she describes a large group of buildings, perhaps 20 or more, and a large oval palace. <laughs> and listen to this. Three large statues of the sort I have found in other places. Three? I'm pretty sure I only saw or two. No, that's not all. She also wrote, the third largest of them in the same stone I have come to recognize lay to the south of the complex, only barely visible in the driving rain. Well, let's get there before the rain stops then.
It's been fun, though I do feel like there should have been treasure at the end of it. Well, maybe... The treasure was the friends we... <laughs> so that's that. There's one more thing. According to the book, Wolverson took a jade statue from the site, but lost it in the flash flood. I'll try and work out where that was. I'll call you as soon as I know. Now I'm intrigued. Call me, yeah? Champion, you know what time it is. Where to next? One juggernaut coming right up. I'll tell Jay to make it a good one. Hola, amigo. I went to a drag race meetup last night and I talked to some mecanicos about the latest rumors. I think you're gonna like this one. Yes, you did it! Horizon Rush is complete! Now, if you can excuse me, I have a date with several drift zones. I am gonna set the ultimate trailblazer route. Actually, I'm gonna stick down two gates, and you're gonna set the ultimate route. It will be wicked! You have arrived at your destination. All right, let's get going. The sun's setting, but we have enough time to get there along the beach. I'm excited. Do you think we'll find it? To be honest, I don't know. But I'm getting the sense that there's more to Mexico than meets the eye. A botanist, a natural historian, and a pretty decent artista. You want to talk about Las Maravillas de Mexico? Just read about her life.
interesting. The design doesn't seem entirely Aztec, but it does remind me of Tlaloc, the rain god. <laughs> this is amazing. I'll work out where the next one should be and give you a call. Hmm. Where does the trail lead from here? South and inland. I'm sure of it. I'll be in touch. destination. The Titan! Right, let's get out there and finish this cross-country program with a bang.
not love cross-country racing, but you have such nice-looking country to cross. Sharp right. Four hundred meters. Turn left. arrived at your destination.
amazing. You made it. That was awesome. Take a second to appreciate it. All right, now saddle up again, because I reckon you can do it faster. Come on. Welcome to the gauntlet. Get ready to throw down.
You're unbelievable, you know that? I pulled out all the stops on that one. I really thought I had you. home stretch and about to make Hall of Fame history. Proud of you. Why don't I hook you up with Romero and the extremely mysterious unknown racer who runs meetups in Guanajuato. You have arrived at your destination. But watch out for this conductor. I've never seen someone so competitive. Best of luck. I've never seen someone so competitive. Best of luck. to be dropping carriages, but it's certainly going to give the engine an advantage. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that.
nice ride. I have to look good for my old compadres. And I thought, what looks better than beating a Horizon superstar into your hometown? First to the Basilica wins. Vámonos! Let's do this! So, there's a bit of a street scene around here. Maybe. Back then I was just a little kid learning to drive with my mommy and my tios. I couldn't even reach the pedals. But you know, they do say that the most feared street racer in all of Mexico comes from Guanajuato. Ah, do they really? Well see, they say he's never lost a race. Who knows if he'll make an appearance at Horizon? Does this feared street racer have a name? Oh, many names. They call him El Jefe, El Perron, El Guapo, El Valiente. You might meet him one day. But not if you can't even beat me into them. Coming up from Guanajuato. Wait till you see the sea at night. Guanajuato, home of La Familia Miron, best city in Mexico. The name means Hill of Frogs. That's not very street racing. Then you've never seen a frog at top speed, superstar. Put a cafe there. Turn up, turn up. I'm sorry, folks. That's okay. The tunnels were built to keep the city from flooding, but they are perfect for El Jefe and the local street racers. Oh, and watch for traffic. The streets can get busy, but I've heard the racers find it adds to the challenge. And I mean, so I've heard. La Basílica Colegiata de Nuestra Señora de Guanajuato. Racers come here to ask Our Lady for her blessing. You know, I might be able to contact the jefe. I hear he's pretty strict, but if he thinks you're good enough to join the street scene, then who knows? Dude, I know it's you. <laughs> Ta bueno, pues. Then you're in. Come on, let's go meet my compadres. Well, now my darkest secret is out, my friend. I have something else to show you. Follow me. Where are we going now? Out of the city, to our racers meet up. Does your family know about El Jefe? Are you kidding? My father would be furious, and my uncle Carlos would challenge me to a race before every family meal. <laughs> well, you can't keep street scene a secret anymore. You're going to have to show these racers how it's done. They've never been part of a festival before. I'm sure they'll learn fast. Lesson numero uno. Give the people what they want. What do the people want? <laughs> Someone willing to bend the rules. And we have company. Meet my compadres. When we started this meetup, we were just a few kids racing around in old pochos. Since then, the racers, the engines, the party have all <laughs> grown a little bit. So 
Sorry about all the mystery, by the way. It was nice to visit Comas myself for a change. <laughs> it was fun. Thanks for showing me your hometown, Remy. My problem, my friend. Welcome to Horizon Street Scene. Welcome to Horizon Street Scene. Fully approved and ready to go. Take a look. I've set up street races all across Mexico. There's a lot of people who want to take you on. No pressure. Races are swarming into Horizon Street Scene, even though it's not very underground anymore. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't tell them. It's important for their street cred. Wow, last two adventures. Which will it be? I have a coin if that helps. So I think Jay just wants to show you his new car. Although I have had a number of unknown callers asking about him. What's he done this time? Hey, amigo. An old mechanico told me where we could look for a piece of Mexican racing and American sports car history. Think you could find it? You have arrived at your destination. There he is. So, uh, some street racers just turned up. Oh, huh. are they friends of yours? No, we're not friends. And we're not street racers, Jamin. We're the Born Fast Racing Society. Yeah, more like Born Rich. <laughs> Mira, amigo, you're in my country now. So throw down on the road, or go home. Racing sounds good. Let's do this. Guess your cars, then. Now, Born Fast. Or dead last, mi amigo. <laughs> Vamos! Let's go! Okay, before you ask, I have no idea what that guy's problem is, and I'm completely innocent. Wait, who is this guy? <sighs> He's Tristan. Let me start from the beginning. A few years ago, I went to this midnight meetup in London. Heard it might be cool. Turns out, it was just a spoiled rich kids convention. So you beat him in a race? Well, yeah, but it was one race. You and I win and lose all the time. We don't go around being jerks about it. How come they've never been to Horizon? You ask me. The festival can do without these types. Steady on, Jay. Let's see if they can drive. Corner coming up. Let's see his turning circle. Skills, Pablo. We just need to get you a real street machine. I'll build a Chilo hot rod from scratch. Uh, don't worry. My father will pay for everything. No need. Come down to street scene. We'll hook you up. How about you, Tristan? I don't think so. I'm not going to stoop to racing you. 
You're not even in that ridiculous Hall of Fame of yours. So, the Born Smug crew aren't done yet. Tristan has organised another showdown at the stadium. You can head there now. Or, this is weird, but I got a call from the kid you'll be racing. Says he wants to talk to you. Your choice, but it sounds like a trap to me. Got it. I've got the car ready for you. And we've got a bit of a crowd gathering already. Turn sharp right. Recalculating route. In 200 meters, turn right. 400 meters, turn left. 200 meters, turn left. You have arrived at your destination. There you are. Ready to take on another of the born fast racers? Sure, Tristan. I enjoy the competition. Uh, uh meet Charles Ward. Original Born Fast crew. Never defeated, isn't that right? He means we went to school together. Oh, let's just get this over with. Born Fast. <laughs> oh, dead last. Yeah, I know. Give him an inch, Charles. I want you to win. Hey, you don't seem to be enjoying this. Loosen up. Racing is supposed to be fun. <laughs> you have no idea. I'm not even rich. My dad used to work for his dad. <laughs> I'm just as happy hooning around in a skyline as a Lambo. <laughs> ah, you should check out Street Scene, Charlie. They're all about that. Well, I'm sure you did your best, Charlie. I'll give you some pointers later. Hey, champion. Final adventure run, so it should have been a tough choice. What song to pay at your Hall of Fame induction, on the other hand? Now, that's a tough one. So, I tried ignoring his calls, but Tristan Whiny Baby won't let this thing go. Have you tried not calling him names? Uh, no. Why would I try that? Got loads more good ones where that came from. Anyway, he's putting up a new racer for you to destroy.
Superstar. No Jay again. Shame. Guess he's so busy being a famous Horizon racer, he doesn't have any time for any actual racing. You know, it's a big festival, Tristan. There's room for both of you. Tell him that. Tell him I'll take my invite to the UK festival while he's at it. It's only three years too late. Wait, he never... Tristan, your personal issues bore me. I am ready to race now. Oh, hey. This is Antonia Ritter. She's lead driver in the racing team she owns. You've had a decent run with the Born Fast crew, Superstar, but this is where it ends. Born Fast. All dead last. Now, out of my way, please. <laughs> Tristan to Horizon UK. What? I don't know. Was I supposed to? You can decide where he goes. He's a grown-up, isn't he? Yeah, but you're both acting like whiny little... Ah! We'll talk later. This lady can try. Yeah, yeah. OK. Speak soon. the superior driver. I have carefully examined this route. There is no doubt that I will succeed here. Hey! You knew the route ahead of time? That's not fair! Incorrect. I have studied every possible permutation of courses along the Mexican road network as a part of my pre-race preparation. I will ignore no opportunity to demonstrate I am the better driver. Wow. I spent hours choosing the car hall. you beat me? Show me what you did on those corners. I want to know everything. Hey, Antonia, if you want some extra practice, come to Street Seat. I will consider it. Novelty horns sound fun. Tristan, but my message came out really sarcastic, and long story short, he's sending another Born Fast racer after you. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Don't sleep on this driver, Will. I mean it. Take him seriously. Tris, my man, relax. I'm the best racer in North or South America. Nice to meet you too, William. Shall we do this? Born fast. Or dead last. You know it. Do it. Go, go, go. Jamin, don't pretend. Wow, this guy, is he for real? He is a bit intense. Rich Dad, sister's a bit of a character, and he has a whole system for racing too. He takes this very seriously. <laughs> More than very seriously, I think.
I inherited the money, but the talent, that's all me. I have perfect control of my vehicle. Accelerate, brake, accelerate, brake. Shame my dad couldn't come to watch me beat a Horizon Superstar. doesn't represent me. This doesn't represent me. Don't put this on my record. <laughs> um, it was fun, William. Perhaps another time? Right, so, um, one racing feud at a time, but there's another of Tristan's friends storming around the festival. Looking for Kira. You mean our Kira? Kira Harrison? Yeah, that's what I said. But no, definitely Kira. Can you go and deliver the bad news? This next racer is kind of intense. Turn around when it is safe to do so. arrived at your destination. Tegan, I told you, Kira isn't here. She's running operations in the UK, and Australia was a long time ago. Makes no difference to me. Hey, Tristan. Tegan, I guess we're racing. It's certainly not a social call. <laughs> wow. Well, okay. Let's go then. Going fast? Darn right I am. Adam, call Jamin. Calling Jamin. Jay. Look up Tegan Ashley. One sec. Tegan Ashley. Oh, wow. She tried to buy Horizon Australia. What? Like, the whole thing? Yeah, and her mum has the mining money to do it, but Kira told her the festival boss job wasn't for sale. So she... <laughs> I guess she didn't take it well. Nope, not at all.
I can't race my way in. I can't buy my way in. What do you want from me? Easy, Tegan. Are you all right? Forget about Born Fast. If you want to race for Horizon for a while, clear your head. That's absolutely fine. Like they'd have me now. Nobody takes me seriously, all because of my family's stupid money. Are you kidding? We'd love to have you. Nobody at Street Scene cares who your mum is. So you're the superstar. Tristan's right. Much more impressive than Jimin, and less irritating. <laughs> Jay's really nice once you get to know him. Sorry, I didn't get your name. I'm Katya. Born fast and all of that. <sighs> Final piece of the puzzle. You want to do the honours, or shall I? Destination. Superstar, I believe you've spoken to Katya, my second in command. Maybe the second fastest thing on Earth, after me. He likes to tell himself that. Katya and I have been talking, and we thought you might consider joining Born Fast. With you and the crew, Horizon would be history. Yeah, except I don't care who wins, Tristan. I'm here to have fun. <laughs> I told you he would refuse. No matter. Now we get to see who really is second fastest. Born fast? Or... See you at the finish line! Dead last. What? Nobody likes the motto now. Nice, Katya. Dialing now. Yeah? Hey, Katya! It's me! Can I talk to you about something? Like what? Tristan, tell him Jay should not have made that Born Rich joke. Oh, these boys! Tristan is just terrified Jay might be right. I'm being called out by one of your favorite racers. Wait, Tristan is a Jay fan? <laughs> Stunt video. Why do you think he wanted an invite to Horizon UK in the first place? Ah, that makes sense. Forgive Tristan. He can't help being rich. Now, enough therapy. This is between you and me, superstar. So this is what dead last feels like? Mm, not so bad. Well, I guess it's you and me next, Tristan. I don't think so. I'm not going to stoop to racing you. You're not even in that ridiculous Hall of Fame of yours. <laughs> really? Well, talk soon, I guess, then. Ramiro was saying the same thing. I'll give him the go-ahead for the marathon. There it is. 
Horizon Mexico is complete. How do you feel? Couldn't have done it without you, Haley. <laughs> well, obviously, but I couldn't have done it without you either, superstar. Nice work. All right, enough messing around. Let's get you into this Hall of Fame, shall we? Back on the road. Let's do this. Hey, amigo. Gracias a ti. Horizon Street Scene has never been bigger. Nice work, my friend. In 100 meters, turn left. Calculating route. In 400 meters, turn sharp left. Turn around when it is safe to do so. This is it, the marathon, the biggest street race we've ever built. Are you ready?
Cross of Horizon, Mexico. I knew you could do it. You're one of the best street racers at Horizon. Champion, you are so close to the Hall of Fame. I wish I could just cheat you in, but I won't, just to be clear. Hola, amigo. Perdóname, but I've been contacted by the university and Horizon Street scene. I need a driver who's fast and smart. Well, I'm flattered. Meet me in downtown Guanajuato. We'll get to work. have arrived at your destination. Thank you for coming. Now, first, the university wants us to map out the city. Ready to take a tour? In a GR Supra? Absolutely. <laughs> now, this might be an intimate tour, but Horizon Street scene are watching, so can we do it rapido? <laughs> I can do that. The Alhondega has been a grain house, fortress, school, prison, and now a museo. In 200 meters, turn left. Turn left. Hidalgo, built as a train station, but now a beloved marketplace. Plaza de la Paz, a famous triangular town square, surrounded by beautiful architecture. The Basilica Colgiata de Nuestra Señora de Guanajuato, that beautiful bald yellow, magnifico. Then, do not miss the Templo de San Francisco, with that unmistakable pink hue. In 200 meters, turn right. Teatro Principal, the oldest in the city, home of art and culture. Climb the steps to the Universidad de Guanajuato. Visit some of my professores. Oh, wow. Mexico has so much to offer. I'm really struggling to get everything in. I think I'm going to pass out. No, no, keep going. In 200 meters, turn right. Turn right. In 100 meters, turn left. Hotel Castillo. Is it a hotel? Is it a castle? Or why not both? Did we make it? Are we finished? Oh, thank goodness for that. 500 years of history in less than cinco minutos. You really are fast, my friend. I'll call you again soon. Thanks for the tour, Juan. See you soon. Hola, mi amigo. Juan Garcia's here. How would you like to do some research on high-speed camera technology? I would like that very much. Good to see you. The university is trying to improve response times on the speed zones outside Guanajuato. And Horizon Street Scene 
are trying to break them. <laughs> Sounds about right. Let's make sure the speed zone can handle it. The competition is tough out here. Follow the route and show everyone what you've got. We can do it. Speed, by example. <laughs> Let's hope your driving is better than your bombs. I called in a favor from Prima Ale. So you should have enough horses in the GR Supra. <laughs> More than enough. These numbers are very impressive, my friend. Nice work. One thing is for certain, the university engineers will keep trying to build a better speed zone. And the street scene racers will keep trying to break them. argument has broken out between the university and Horizon Street Scene. They want you to come down here and settle it. Me? Well, okay. You have arrived at your destination. You got here just in time. The university is working on an improved GPS. But the street racers say it will never be as good as local knowledge. I've programmed the route using Anna, but you're going to try to find shortcuts. I'll watch the telemetry and evaluate it using an efficiency algorithm. Does that make sense? Tech versus gut. Got it. Exactamente. Oh, speaking of guts, Prima Ale has been working on the GR Supra. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. Bien, bien. Much faster. to shave off a few seconds. According 
the telemetry and my efficiency algorithm. That was a lot of fun. Es verdad, street racers have their shortcuts. But without GPS technology, there'd be nothing to compare. Well, I'll let you get back to the streets. Adios. I, I try not to take sides. have to say about their name up in lights. I'm speechless. Actually, it's funny. You talk more than any other Horizon driver I've ever met. But you know what? I'll just say you're not finished yet. The festival playlist is full of exclusive rewards and drivers who'd give anything to line up against a legend like you. I think, I think you did it. Better get down here. You've made the Hall of Fame. yet. The festival playlist is full of exclusive rewards and drivers who'd give anything to line up against a legend like you. You made it, but why stop there, right? Where to next? latest masterpiece. Accolade exclusive to the Hall of Fame. It's challenges only you can take on. You're welcome. Right, kid. We're back in it. Get here when you can. Another stunt? <laughs> I'll be right there. You have arrived at your destination. Right, this is a post credit scene. And according to the call sheet, Victor wants... Uh... Both of you. Both of us? He doesn't know I exist, right? Scene 121A. The two Alexes. Action! Hey. What do you say we make this one real? at the finish line. Ah, yes. This is what we have been working toward. The within made manifest. The conflict real. The outcome unknowable. My greatest work. <laughs> A clever wasik. With any luck, he's definitely, positively, a rap. So, Victor's asked me to join his remake of Rendezvous. Turns out he saw the thing we did in Edinburgh. It's a huge opportunity. And all thanks to you, kid. Actually, you know, I've got this idea. It's about twins who fight crime. In cars? I'm in. Tell me more.
Saludos again. Remember our stock versus scratch race where I beat you by about dos millas? <laughs> Not how I remember it. Papa Fernando said a racer should be their own mecanico. Well, I have the ultimate test. Come and meet me. You have arrived at your destination. So, what do you have planned, Ellie? <laughs> nada, nada. Well, I did get a hold of a bare VW Beetle chassis, and I have built something from scratch. Papa Fernando would probably think I've gotten a little bit loca. And you've got a coding zig here too, because... Because we're going to race them, of course. This time I get stuck, and don't hold anything back. Hypervocho. <laughs> I think you set this whole thing up just so you can say hypervocho. <laughs> Maybe I did. If you like, bring your vocho down to the auto show sometime and I'll show you how to customize it. Familia has organized a small exhibit of Papa Fernando's things at the outpost. You should take un vistazo. He sounds like a great guy. I wish I'd known him. Ay, ay, ay. Hi there. Hola. Famer, eh? Woo! No time to explain. Vente ya. Come, meet me. <laughs> Thanks, Carmen. Is this about the book? You have arrived at your destination. Hi, there you are. So I worked it out. Remember that flash flood? She was near an abandoned church along a river. And that has to be the Temple of Quechula. Andale, vámonos. Drive. 
Claro. Head for the temple at Quechula. Lady Sydney has one more marvel to show us, and you're gonna show me how a Hall of Famer drives, no? Wasn't the temple at Quechula flooded? I didn't bring my snorkel. Ay, <laughs> que chistoso. Quechula is located on a flood plain, but after a long dry season... The temple is accessible. I take it back, let's go. up on the church. Oh, yeah, que rápido! This church is 500 years old. It was built in the hopes that it would become the center of an important city, but never did. In 1966, the dam was built and the whole area flooded. This is amazing. Like a final chapter of the book I never got to read as a girl. I, I hate to say it, but it feels like this belongs in a museum. I agree. But you know, it won't be visible unless you go see it at exactly the right time. <laughs> you don't believe that, right? No, Tristan won't race you until you're in the Hall of Fame. Well, do you want to tell him? I already told him. We're waiting for you. I've got a better idea, Jake. Meet us down there. Oh, you're going to lose this one, Tristan. Hey, you two. Calm down, Jake. So, Tristan, shall we finish this? Hey, Tristan! Board fast! Board fast! <laughs> hey! You were supposed to beat them, not join them! Jamin and Tristan to a group call. Dialing them both and creating a group call now. Yo, you okay? What's going on? Tristan Westfield Vaughan speaking. Guys, you two should have been best mates, not worst enemies. So we're going to fix that right now. Well, if you think I'm going to group therapy while racing, you are quite mistaken. Jay, anything you want to say to Tristan? Uh... I'm sorry, all right? Sorry I called you born rich. That was me. Tristan, that's your cue. I'm sorry about all of this. Anyone else I wouldn't have cared.
go back to the start line and make it best two out of three. Right. How we could get back to street scene without all this drama, OK? Both of you? Absolutely. But can I just say, that drama led to the sickest race series in Horizon history. Yo, Tristan, come to street scene this weekend. I'll introduce you to everyone, but you still have to pretend like we still can't stand each other, OK? <laughs> I get it. But I want to drive that Aventador of yours. Is it Ramiro? Uh, no, it's El Monstro Fantasma. The Monster Ghost has returned. Uh, El, what now? I'll send you a link. This is a classic storyline. Uh, look, just come to Guanajuato, pronto. Okay, it's restored. Come down and pick up the competition when you're ready. At the roundabout. Take the second exit. At the roundabout, take the third exit. El horrible monster ghost is back from decades in exile. After an epic defeat by El Campeón and El Forzudo, they cannot face their ancient enemy alone. They need an ally! And that ally has stepped up! It's the courageous Toro Loco! From the depths of the underworld, it is the fearsome monster ghost! The monster ghost plotted his revenge against his old rivals, El Campeón and El Mozumo. One luchador alone cannot stand against the monster ghost. Here comes El Campeón to help the Fantora Loco. A shortcut is sneaking up on you. Monster Ghost! 
When luchadores work together, they can drive away a terror like the monster ghost. I cannot wait to see what parts of Lucha de Carreteras await us in the future. Right, listen to this. I met some American collectors at the festival last night, and they said they were close to tracking down a stone-cold classic right here in Mexico. So, I was thinking if we find it first... You have arrived at your destination. Toro Loco will take on El Forzudo and defend the master, El Campeón! It's begun! They've broken out of the cage! Ha! Ivan, who will be victorious, maestro or student? Ah! The stadium is alive tonight! Who will emerge from the tunnel? Editors are halfway through the route.
almost hear the giant wheels of the monster ghost. The competitors are approaching the finish line! Toro Loco and El Campeón have bravely defeated all in the tradition of the greatest champions of the ring! Toro Loco and El Campeón are the pride and true embodiment of the technical tradition and deserve all the glory and honor!